Greetings, my friends. Happy to be here. And this morning is also the last uh, morning for this four-week series on the Four Noble Truths. And as a conclusion for all this, and as a instructions for this meditation, I would like to uh, say that sometimes there's the idea of that we have seeds within us. It's a wonderful metaphor. And in terms of the Four Noble Truths, we have the seeds inside of us for peace, the seeds inside of us for happiness or a deep, satisfying sense of, of well-being and ease. And to begin recognizing that seed and to begin watering it and tending it and letting it uh, germinate and grow and become a seedling and become a full plant is uh, one of the tasks of this practice. And in this kind of metaphor, <clears throat> it's not, we're not really importing something from the outside, importing teachings, beliefs, ideas, something, but rather uh, we're, we're uh, nurturing and nourishing something inside that can grow and develop. And in terms of the Four Noble Truths, uh, it's often that we use the word suffering in terms of them, suffering, the cause, the cessation, and the way leading to the cessation of suffering. Suffering is a big word. Sometimes maybe it's useful to use the word unease, and that we're navigating our life uh, between ease and unease, unease and ease. And the possibility for a ease within, that seed of ease, is what we're looking for and nourishing and making room and not doing it, holding on to it, but opening to it or nourishing it. And one of the ways to do that is to recognize any and all ways that we feel unease. And if we do feel unease, then um, to experiment with how to be aware of it with ease. That's where we have, we can't necessarily fix or control or change everything that happens, but we can begin experimenting to see can we hold it and be with it with ease. The awareness as it with ease. And with that awareness, maybe then we can breathe with, with what is uneasy. If the breathing is not quite the right place to feel a sense of ease, some people just rest the awareness in the body. And this wide awareness of the body can hold whatever is difficult with some, some modicum of ease. And if that's not possible, some people find it helpful to uh, find ease in their hearing just listening to the sounds around them. And, um, and there's where some ease is. And then with that ease, we can include within it what is uneasy without needing to judge it or define ourselves by it or see it as a problem. But hold it with ease and maybe then things relax. If they don't, what we're doing is nourishing the seed of ease, recognizing it, breathing with it, feeling it in the body, letting that become strong. So then for this meditation, take a posture that allows you to be alert with a sense of ease. Might, maybe that means to sit up straighter. Maybe it means to relax more in your body, in your posture. Just settle back. And perhaps if the circumstances where you're meditating or have some modicum of quiet or you're being undisturbed by other people or in the room, maybe to recognize 
that sense of being undisturbed in the room you're in. And that that whatever unease you have, there is a kind of ease in the undisturbedness of this, of sitting quietly. And then to see if you can take a few breaths consciously. I often say take some deeper breaths, but do some conscious breathing, a little bit more intentional. But see if you can do so in an easeful way, as if you're easing in to the experience of breathing. And with the breathing, easing in to your body. And then letting your breathing return to normal. And if there's any sense of ease in your body anywhere, feel that ease. Feel the relaxation or the quiet, that which in your body feels undisturbed or feels cozy. Taking a few moments to relax some of your muscles. Relaxing around your body settling in teeny bit more to whatever ease is available here. And become aware of your breathing. And if your breathing feels easeful, comfortable, enjoy that. Hang out with that. Be massaged by the breathing. And if any part of the breathing is has unease, discomfort as part of it, see if you can Be aware of that, hold it within a wider field of ease, not making it a problem, but letting it be part of the larger landscape so that you're easy with it, at ease with feeling unease. And as we continue sitting here, <clears throat> if anything occurs that takes you away from the breathing, and there's any sense of unease with that, keep searching for how to hold that with ease. Just hold it in a field, landscape of ease, of n- not a problem. 
It's that capacity for ease. That's the important thing that's happening here. Gently, easily, easefully. Keep opening to where the ease is. The ease in the awareness of all things.
if you become distracted with thinking, see if you can be at ease with that. Be easy. Look for the ease and then let go of your thoughts easefully. Begin again with your breathing, with that sense of ease. So you're not all, you're not regularly coming back to breathing. You're regularly beginning again with this, the ease of awareness with breathing. And slowly that ease of, of awareness, like a little seed that's germinating, can become stronger and bigger by the repetition, returning to easeful awareness of breathing.
And then as we come to the end of the sitting, I want to evoke again the idea that there is within us the capacity for ease, for peace. And when we can feel a sense of inner ease, it's a lot easier to love. And when we can be at ease, have some ease with how we're uneasy, it's also easier to love. Not a few times, our capacity to love and our loving, our compassion, our care, can come with some kind of feeling of unease. But to keep opening to the ease, to keep holding all things from a place of ease, even if we're uneasy. And maybe that can be one of our gifts to the world. That to the degree to which we're at ease or in touch with our ease, we help others feel at ease. And one of the gifts is to support people to be at ease with how they are, who they are. Because in ease, in being easy with how we are, all beings, it's easier for what's good inside of them to come to the forefront. It's easier for them to love, to be happy, to care. Coming out of this meditation today, in our wish to support, to help support and contribute to a better world for all beings, may we let our ease be a gift to help others be at ease as well. And in whatever mutual ease that there is, perhaps there can be a greater recognition, respect, maybe even love between people. May all beings be at ease.